So hi guys, um, up on the South Downs today with the Sony RX10 Mark IV, just having a good wander around. Stumbled across um, Dan Prosser who is with the Piston Heads YouTube channel and they were filming with the uh, McLaren uh, 600 LT Spider. Really, really cool car. So, had a nice chat and uh, also uh, took some photos while they were out and about uh, doing the... Uh, the testing and filming and stuff like that so really cool there's going to be a video up soon on their channel i'll put a link at the end and uh, keep an eye on that make sure make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so obviously you get to see when it pops up but it looks like it's going to be a uh, cool looking video up on the south downs uh, we are completely spoiled by this road this if you've got a decent car and you love driving this road is one lovely road just to appreciate the lovely curves and bends and just the scenery is unbelievably cool uh, up there quite a lot of the time of the year absolutely love it there and obviously if you've got cars like this it really adds to the uh, the look and uh, obviously the rest of the scenery so um, yeah really really cool um, really nice car and actually it fitted the colour with the weather so that dark grey looked really cool So while I was up there, uh, the McLaren was going up and down a few times. I was just watching around um, and just taking a few shots here or there. Uh, was someone skimming stones further down the road um, at Berlin Gap, which was kind of cool to see. And also some uh, big rocks being splashed in. So good excuse for a little bit of slow motion video. Uh, that was at 250 frames per second, both those clips. That worked quite nicely. Super calm evening. The water was probably the clearest I've seen it in many, many years. Absolutely, almost crystal clear. You could see the rocks and everything through the water very clearly. Uh, considering I'm up sort of 600 feet up as well, um, it really made the view quite quite nice. And obviously the blues of the water looked absolutely awesome. For some reason the RX-10 decided not to focus probably there, then obviously it caught up very quick. Um, but as you can see, there, the colour of the water was absolutely lovely. As bad as the weather's been for the last day or two, it's still stunning up here. That sounds fucking cool. <laughs> that sounds really cool. Not that fast though. So after all the car activity had uh, finished, um, a couple of jets flew over really close, really low, but by the time I turn, turned around, they'd actually obviously flown because they come over the cliff very, very low and just appeared. So I had literally a second to turn around and try and focus on, which is no problem at all. But did get a couple of shots, which you'll see shortly. This is the view of the sea. This horizon, was, it just disappeared. Um, what I didn't realise until about an hour later was a lot of sea mist coming straight in and uh, it all arrived uh, relatively quickly um, so visibility dropped very very quickly after that um, as you can see just some come on a couple of different angles here looking across the downs I didn't merge these shots so I could have done um, but it just shows you just how stunning the background and the even just the sea and the ocean it's just a lovely massive massive area that is just you can really appreciate the space the lovely road the twistiness and everything like that and it's absolutely awesome you can see there in the distance um, a little bit of the mist creeping inland now um, unfortunately the sunset was non-existent as such there was no color or anything which is a real shame but as you can see the water was super calm hardly any wind at all and it just really just felt lovely it was just a lovely atmosphere just really nice nice evening just to go for a walk um, as you can see there the light was kind of cool reflections and everything just worked really really well so uh, RX-10 Mark IV at performing as it does or is you know really really well um, it allowed me to get the shots of the planes where if I'd had a wide angle lens on, say for the, <clears throat> uh, the A7R3 or something like that, if, if I had that with me, I would have missed them completely, which you'll see shortly. Um, while I was around, just wandering around snapping, really. Uh, noticed the, the one of the ferries coming back into New Haven. Um, and you can see the mist there. Uh, it did struggle to focus on it for a second or so, then it locked on. Um, so, it, obviously, mist is not easy. Um, that was... Earlier on, um, this shot here, 
when actually the same ferry was leaving. So <clears throat> a couple of hours later, it obviously come back, looking straight to the lighthouse. Um, loads of wildflowers everywhere. Uh, me panning with the uh, the jackdaw there uh, in flight, which uh, was quite cool. I was, I was lucky that my shutter speed was, it almost wasn't quite fast enough. Um, like I say, plenty of wildflowers. There was this little fly just sat on one of the petals there, which I quite like. He's just just sat there, which is kind of cool. Um, loads and loads of bugs everywhere. It was it was almost a, a macro photographer's uh, dream. Uh, they're the two jets after they flew past. Um, they've just flew. I'm not sure where they were going. Probably Shoreham Airport, possibly, or somewhere more sort of uh, military or something like that. Not really, not really sure. But they were heading west anyway. Uh, this is where they're a bit, a bit closer to me. Um, but uh, really quite close to each other. Um, but it's the fact that they just flew literally straight over the cliff edge, came up and appeared from nowhere. Um, I wish I was up closer because I could have got a really close shot of them. Um, but as they climbed over the cliff, they climbed up a little bit. Um, and uh, that's as close as I got, which obviously allows you to read the, uh, the markings and everything on the planes. Um, and considering that, was it was starting to look a bit misty and a bit hazy. Um, the shots aren't too bad, but I'll say it was almost like a panic shot because the speed they came over and they were on me literally in half a second. That's another shot of the ferry earlier. Um, as you can see, the, the the air quality wasn't all that great. It was a little bit misty, hazy in the distance. There was no sunshine as such, unless you had the odd break come through. Um, it, it was just a bit random, and as you can see here, the ground and everything here is um, shaded, but there's a little bit out to see. Um, another another bird there flying um, but I'm right at the top of the hill looking down uh, and then the sun did come out while I was down at Berlin Gap looking inland there um, really moody clouds which made, really make this picture so you've got all the lovely lines drawing in and out um, with all the different textures and everything uh, the telephone box which is actually still a telephone box um, and the post box there looking looking nice in red uh, with the background that's the walk up to the up to the lighthouse up on the hill but from there uh, this is an old Capri, um, which I haven't seen for a long time, one of those. Um, it looks like it's been panned painted, possibly, I'm not really sure. Um, but obviously it's quite cool to see an old old car like that. Uh, proper classic nowadays. This shot here, this is where the sun was out for a little while. Um, as you can see, the water's lovely. Um, cool, fluffy clouds, um, but there's some really high cloud as well. That was what was causing... Um, the issues a little bit. Uh, a couple of random close-ups. This one here I really quite like, just the textures and the spikiness, um, and uh, just don't know, just an interesting black and white shot. Really, in colour it didn't have the same appeal. Uh, there's one of those horrible sort of rain clouds out to sea. I believe it looked like it was raining um, out to sea. It never came in land, luckily. But the weather recently has been absolutely sort of like this. It's been really moody. Either chucking it down with a lot of rain. Uh, this is looking from Berlin Gap right over to where those famous cottages are. There's, um, if you type in um, the Seven Sisters, you'll see um, on, on Google Images, you'll see some uh, cottages and the the, um, the the cliffs. Um, it's a very famous photo, many many sales of a postcard. Um, and there's some steps in the distance there, so right to the picture. You can walk down to the bottom of the cliff there when the tide's out. Uh, another shot of uh, the Berlin Gap sort of line of the cliffs. Um, with the colours, of the uh, the sun was just lighting onto these flowers here in the foreground, which was quite quite lucky. But as you can see, it's quite dark in the distance. Uh, Jackdaw just sat there on one leg, um, not very far. He actually didn't fly away, which I was quite amazed about. They quite often do. Um, uh, 600 mil f4 on this one, um, but had to be shot really. He sort of looked at me, and uh, that was it really. Um, so this shot here is actually video, so you can see the ripples in the water. Um, ISO 1000. This is on the way home, so I was driving home, and uh, the mist was rolling in. I thought, wow, the, must, the river must be really calm. So I stopped down the little lane where, where I know the river is, and um, as you can see, quite a stunning sort of view, all the reflections and everything. Uh, some cows off in the left-hand side, just the other side of that bush. There, you can see a couple of cows wandering around, um, eating grass, but. The, the light quality was really getting low. Um, this is where I thought I'd push the RX10 to its sort of, not the max, but this is our ISO 1000 straight out of camera. Um, about a, I don't know, I think it was hand, it was handheld. So I think like one twenty-fifth of a second or even one fifth of a second. This was a 13 second exposure ISO uh, 100 um, F8, 
or if, uh, yeah, it was F8. Um, so you can see the difference in quality there. Um, basically, that was the end of the day. Uh, really good day. Obviously, seeing the uh, McLaren 600 LT was a nice thing. Um, seeing those jets come over, literally while I was stood there waiting for the car to come back up the hill, which was kind of cool. Um, and obviously, all some you know some pretty good shots, really, all in all. Uh, considering the light quality was a bit iffy most of the day. Um, I just felt sorry for the guys with the McLaren trying to film all day, and the light was pretty crap. Um, only on the benefits, really, that the car was a grey colour, and it kind of matched the clouds. So, anyway, um, don't forget to subscribe, and uh, also click the notification bell. It'll be um, great as well, so you get to, obviously, notifications that I put a new video up. Um, obviously, click the Piston Heads um, thing, and obviously give them a subscribe, subscribe and click the notification as well, because obviously that McLaren video... That they've been, they were filming will be up in around about three or four weeks. It's now the 15th of uh, June, so it shouldn't be too long next into July sometime. So look out for that one. Anyway, I shall see you soon.